I'm going to show you a real quick uh, video here of the armor racks for the Contraptions DLC. Man, they're slick too, man. I, I got uh, quite a few uh, sets of uh, power armor here. I'm a power armor fan. I don't, I don't really get into the uh, the uh, other stuff, the other armor, the the type that is not power armor, I should say. Although uh, there's some cool stuff there. When I do wear one, it, it's probably this one here. These are the mannequins also provided with that DLC. Man, I tell you, there's just a lot of good stuff there. The Grognak costume, the mechanics costume. This here is a really good one to have handy. The Silver Shroud, your charisma, which I found, charisma of two, which I found actually Agatha's dress has a charisma of three. I've got that somewhere. Uh, and I wear that when I really need some good charisma. Lobster trap helmet is really uh, kind of disturbing. And that's why I like it so much. And that's a really sharp looking uh, costume there. Uh, the marine wetsuit. And of course Lorenzo suit. But the power armor stations are nice. They snap together. And um, which is something that's very helpful when you want to line a bunch of them uh, out. Now I've, I've collected all of these power armors all in survival mode without any cheats going on other than time uh, fast travel. I wouldn't play survival mode if, it, if fast travel wasn't enabled. I, I just couldn't take it. I mean the first 50 times I'd walk back and forth through Concord I would have given up. I just can't take walking back and forth. To the, so I enabled fast travel. That's the only cheat that I did enable which is a pretty good one I'll admit. But it still was fun, and there was a, still a lot of uh, challenges in there. But I was able to amass all of this in, in survival. Uh, which uh, the thing about survival, it's ve it was very hard at first. You know, the first time you meet that death claw in Concord, you know, he knocked my head off. You know, I thought I was going to go down there and just gun him down with that minigun like I did in normal mode. No, sir, that's not going to happen. You know, and uh, I got killed by mole rats down there, you know, many a time uh, getting killed by a, a ghoul or a mole rat. Oh, yeah, it's it's a hardcore mode to get in, but it, it seems that once you get to about the level that I'm at now, it's just like playing a normal mode. It's just you get you get to kill what you want, how you want. And uh, but I've, I've gotten all this stuff in survival mode. These are the weapon racks, as you can see. I've, I uh, have got all my favorite weapons displayed. These are all legendary weapons that I've managed to get. The December's Child fires two, or one of these does fires two rounds, which is one of the really good ones. Um, uh, the combat, or the yeah, the combat shotguns. These are all been dropped by enemies. This is an awesome weapon here. If y'all get a chance to get that, when you need to get this radical conversion killed, many a uh, many a uh, uh, asshole with that one right there now this these here I don't have much use for them I haven't found one good enough to keep even though I need nuclear material really bad uh, and when you kill one go farm you're supposed to be able to get some nuke material but I haven't been able to find me a decent you know I'm not a big fan of the resilient the poisoners the nimble uh, you know I've got my favorites you know definitely on the legendary weapons I haven't tried the salvaged head before and uh, this is a good one. I just don't have time for it right now. All the missile launchers. Highly recommend the targeting uh, on your missile launchers. The striker. I wasn't able to really kill anybody with that one, so I put it up in the rack. I uh, killed a lot of people with my my gauze rifle, my gauze ra rifles. Uh, this one I carried around with me quite extensively. There, the incendiary. That was one of the, the latter ones here that they've dropped. Uh, I keep all my ammo separate. Uh, this here again if you'll look at this man my god I collected all of this ammo in survival mode just but I've killed a lot of people and uh, a lot of monsters a lot of stuff and I've collected all of this ammo all of these mini nukes 40 mini nukes all of these fusion cores because you know when every time you kill a sentry bot you get four fusion cores so they're high on my list I'm on the hunt for uh, I'm greedy. I want as many of the fusion cores as I can get, and missiles, and and uh, 
uh, mini nukes. I'm going to have me a mini nuke party. I'm just going to, you know, go around walking around with a fat man. Uh, that's what's great about having all this ammo. I can just get in here and, and, and just have my way. Anyway, wanted to show you uh, a little bit of the survival mode. I got some really good uh, tips on survival mode, man. I, 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 I guarantee you that you'll do well if you first thing in survival mode if you could just get your gun mod up a little bit and get yourself a good pop pop rifle and and equip that as well as you can you can you can make it through the hardest parts in the early survival mode with a good pop rifle and get that robot companion by your side as soon as you can so he can carry all your stuff and that uh and that uh you can you can carry all your stuff and they're tough they're a lot tougher than uh you know gladys or whoever it is that they they offer you man i love these power armors i tell you what i just love fallout 4